Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize and clean up your SharePoint command bar by hiding unnecessary actions using a simple JSON snippet. This will help you streamline your SharePoint list views and make them more user-friendly. Let's dive in. If we look at a normal SharePoint list without any modification, we can see that by default, we have several actions here on the top. Some of these actions are never used by the user and are here just causing confusion. What if we could hide those options? Here we have a view that has all the options that came by default. Then we have a second view here that I modified. I've hidden all of them. We cannot see any action. We just see the list. If I even go to another user in another screen, we can see that the list is maximized and then it's showing as a Microsoft list and we also don't see any action here in the top. So now we are going to see how to do that. It's very easy. We have one thing here, that's the view formatting, where we can use a JSON object to format the view. I just went to the view, clicked on this down arrow and then clicked on format current view. And here we have the view formatting options. If you don't know that, you can explore it a little bit more. But what I did was going to the advanced design mode and use a JSON schema that would hide all those buttons. Let's implement that in a new list so we can see what happens. Here we have a similar list that's a project list. And as we can see, we are seeing all the buttons. This list was created to develop an app that I teach on my Udemy course where I teach Power Apps, creating a timesheet app. And this is one of the lists that I use in there. Let's configure this one. So basically, I'm going to do that again. Let's go to all items, format current view, and then we go to advanced modes. Here we have the simple mode where we can, for example, add alternating rows or conditional formatting, but let's go to advanced mode. Here we are going to paste the code that's going to hide all of these buttons. And to get this code, we can go to Power Apps Tools and find the JSON formatter for SharePoint view customization snippets. Here we can copy it. I will leave the link in the description so you can go directly to this page and copy it clicking on this button. And back in the list, we can replace this JSON schema. So I just pasted inside it, replacing everything that's in there. And let's click on preview. Once we click on preview, we can see that the bar already disappeared. We can click on save. And then this view doesn't have the buttons anymore. Let's see what we have in the code just to understand a little bit better. To do that, I'm going to paste it inside a blank file on my Visual Studio Codes. And here's the JSON code that does that. Basically, we just have a JSON object with the command bar props key, where we have the comments array. And here we have the name of all the comments saying that we want to hide the comment, setting the hide property to true. In case you want to keep some comments, for example, creating a new item, deleting or editing or sharing and so on, you can just remove them from here or even put false in the hide property. And then you have the updated JSON that will do exactly that. For example, let's say I want to keep the new button. So instead of true, I'll just put false. I'm going to copy everything again. Go back to the list and replace that. Let's click on preview. And then the add new item button is here. Now I'm going to save. Now, if another user accesses this list, this user will see only the add new item button if the user has access to this list. We can always create a new view that will have everything else. For example, let's say all items, all options. This is going to be a new view. And then since it's a new view, everything is back here because this view is not configured. The user could do that also, but there is a way to disable the add view option. 
For example, for this other user that I have here, I don't have the add view button because I disabled it for the users who are accessing my site. Let me know in the comments if you want to know that and I will create a video showing how to do it. But for this video, we already have the all items view configured to show just one button or hide all the buttons if you just copy the code from here and paste in the JSON customization pane. Now I'm going to leave you with a recommended video so you can learn more cool stuff. See you in the next video.